Hello Stratters! Welcome back to my modern series of converting pauper decks into modern. Uh, this week I'm using something Bava wrote and a deck he designed in the series Paupers and Kings that uh, he wrote on magicgatheringstrat.com. I'll link you to it. And it's Delver Fiend 4, but there is no Delver in it, so it's Swift Fiend then, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna play this uh, today and on Friday. And when you see this video, I'm about to decide what I should do for the coming week. So please let me know. I can proceed with the mono black control deck. Maybe I should play this deck again. And in that case, suggest what I should change in it. Or if you have another pauper deck that you want to see converted, let me know. My famous two turn two kill in modern video is done with a very similar deck to this. Hope I remember how to use ground riff. <laughs> well, Nimmagus Elemental, go from there. I think it's difficult to know when you should put counters on the Nimmagus Elemental when you shouldn't. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. If this goes uh, the right way, it will be a very short video. So I can make it a 5, or I can even make it a 7. Oh, Soul Sisters! That's perfect, right? Or do I want to play a Kiln Fiend as well? Or should I just make a 7-8 and go to town? Is the 7 8 enough here? Should I bolt the soul's attendant? So many choices. Okay, I'm gonna place the invent, pay the life. Bolt it. Play the gut shot. Eat the gut shot. Play Artful Dodge. Eat the Artful Dodge. And swing for five. I wonder if that's enough and if it was correct to bolt. The Souls Attendant. Path to Exile will suck. And maybe this was too risky, but I know how hard it is to fill in Path to Exile in the, in the Soul Sisters deck. Of course, I played Soul Sisters a lot during the modern noob, if you were around during that series. He has got three Squadron Hawks. They are on Champlock Detail. Still feels like a pretty good exchange for me. And here is Mr. Kilnfiend. I do I have any card draw? Not really. Also, when you suggest improvements for this deck, it is a budget deck, so budget suggestions are better. But of course, uh, yeah, non-budget suggestions are good as well. I understand I should have fetch lands in here, but I can't afford them. Please also tell me what I should take out. Ghost Quarter. Oh, Battle Rage for... that's pretty good. Is it lethal? It's close to lethal. But I will just play it. Boosting the Kiln Fiend. Very close to lethal. I 
He's at two. But it could be a very hard two to get through. Flagstones of Trocaire. What happened? Oh, he played a legendary land into a legendary land. Uh, I suggest that Pyroclasm is a pretty good thing against him. Lightning Bolt as well. I don't need to protect my guys as much. I think he only has... Couple of paths to exiles. Maybe I can take out the ground rifts. They are... Maybe they are good enough. I'm gonna take out two hidden strings because they look like the worst card in the deck. And here we play again. Nimagus Blitz. Renamed Swift Fiend to relate to the Delver deck. To the Delver Fiend deck of Pauper. Don't quit on me now. He suggests that, uh, Bava suggests that we could probably take out the gut shots and add another lightning bolt and a battle rage. Gacho seems pretty good against Inkmoth Nexus, but the three Lightning Bolt, three Gutshot seems weird because Lightning Bolt just seems a lot better than Gutshot. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't find any Shattering Sprees, but I think that's the only difference from Bow's list. Oh, Swift Spear! So I can play Pyroclasm and eat it. But Swift Spear survives Pyroclasm, so he seems like a very good first play. And here I feel I could go wrong by trying to survive Pyroclasm, which is maybe not necessary at all. But to get, get a couple of cards from Pyroclasm seems good. Now if he gets the flyer though, Oh my god, is it Swift Spear or is it just Nivmagus Elemental every time you can do it? No, I still want to play Swift Spear, so I have the option of Pyroclasm in case he misplays now. He should sacrifice Mortar of Sands immediately. Uh, play the Flyer, just sacrifice the Mortar of Sands and then he has this giant Flyer. I am kind of inclined to play Kiln Fin next turn. That may be way too slow. Okay, attack and then sacrifice it. Here comes the flyer. Nothing. Weird. So I think I'll play another, an Artful Dodge and a Swift Spear. And just to, not the new Magus Elemental, because I still want to be able to do the Pyroclasm. It's the flashback version, of course. And not the draw a card version, that version is not, that card is not modern legal. Well, there's a new one in Oath of the Gatewatch, right? This is of course really good. For us. I think. Pyroclasm with Magus and Vantal. No, he sacrifices it. That seems pointless. Doesn't change the board. And I could easily do 21 damage. So hopefully he just plays three life gain dudes now. There's one. 
And there is that guy who survives Pyroclasm. Still might have to play it though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm playing it and offering the trade. I'm playing the Nivmagus Elemental. He only has two cards left in his hand. Or should I even Artful Dodge? No, I'll just offer the trade. So really want to get rid of that guy. But we don't. And here comes Niv Magus. But he feels pretty bad here. I think a Delver would be better in this spot. Not in the spot we were in last. Uh, last duel. But here, definitely. Now I hope he attacks. I can just play Swift Spear, Kiln Fiend. That he doesn't find the life gain spell. Uh oh, it's another pride mate. No, it's that thing. That doesn't matter too much either. That guy matters. Okay, I think my plan remains the same. Setting up the kill next turn, possibly. Yeah, and I play the Artful Dodge next turn. Oh god. If I have another turn. But I think I do. And I don't want to eat the Artful Dodge. I just want to hit him for as much as possible. And how much is that? Oh, I have the Artful Dodge in the graveyard as well. Better move that up so I can see it. Kinfin does 7 damage. With a double Artful Dodge. Cannot do a triple Artful Dodge yet. But there is a Gitaxian probe, so let's have a look. Four mana. And do we have a look or do we eat it? Oh, we want the card, so we are not eating it. He has a planes. I draw a mutagenic growth. So now I have it, right? I think I have it. It will become enormous. So it's a 9, it will be a 15. Yeah, it's enough. Whoa! Swift Fiend! Okay, I'll be back on Friday with this deck and please give me your viewpoints, your ideas about this series and how to proceed next week after this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.